students welcome back again to this video series on fundamentals of computer application in the last video we have discussed about computer hardware and computer software today we will learn a very important topic that is computer memory what is computer memory so a memory is just like a human brain it is used to store data and instruction computer memory is the storage space in the computer where data is to be processed and instructions required for processing are stored so it is very essential component of the computer system it is assembled on the motherboard as it is a storage device used for storing data and instruction for performing a task on the system so memory is used to store data and instruction already we have discussed so a storage devices are hardware devices actually that are capable of storing and fetching data and one thing you have to remember that without memory without computer memory computer can't perform a single task so it's a very essential device very essential part or a very essential component of the computer system then what are the types of computer memory actually computer memory mainly divide can be divided into two types that is primary memory or main memory primary memory or main memory and second one is secondary memory or external memory okay you can see in the in this picture computer memory can be divided into two that is primary memory and secondary memory primary mem primary memory is also known as main memory and secondary memory is also known as external memory and primary memory further can be divided into two types ram and rom ram means random access memory and rom means read only memory and then ram can be divided into sram and dram then rom can also be divided into prom eprom and double e prom and secondary devices secondary memory devices are different types hard disk ssd compact disk floppy disk magnetic tape or pen drive etc so these are the different types of secondary memory so what is primary memory or what is main memory so actually primary memory holds only those data and those instruction on which the computer is currently working for example this ram ram holds the data which are currently processing again rom holds those data those are required to start a computer so simil similarly you can say that primary memory holds only those data or instruction that the computer is currently working primary memory has a limited capacity and data is lost when power is switched off it is generally made up of semiconductor devices these memories are not as fast as resistors and the data and instruction required to be processed resides in this main memory it is divided into mainly these two types then some characteristics of this primary memory you can say that these are semiconductor memories it is also known as memory main memory usually it is volatile memory data is lost in case of power switch off it is um, the working memory of the computer and it is faster than secondary memory and a computer can't run without this primary memory okay then secondary memory 
it is also known as external memory and it is non volatile non volatile means it is a permanent memory that means data data stored in secondary memory permanently and these are used for storing data and information permanently cpu directly does not access this kind of memory that means cpu can't access secondary memory directly instead they are accessed through input output routines the contents of secondary memories are first transferred to the main memory and then the cpu can access it for example cd rom dvd pen drive hard disk ssd these are the secondary memory clear so what are the characteristics of secondary memory so these are also known as external memory it is non volatile memory that is it is permanent memory data is permanently stored even the power is switched off it is used for storing data in a computer computer may run without the secondary memory also but secondary memory memories are slower than the primary memory and mainly these are uh, magnetic and optical memories okay clear okay so now i will discuss about primary memory already i have told that this is the main memory this is also referred as main memory this is volatile uh, it stores the operating system and data required to run the computer it is limited capacity memory and data information is lost when power is switched off so my primary memory is generally constructed with a semiconductor devices so register are much faster than these memories it contains all the data and instruction required to be processed so already i have discussed about this main memory now different types of main memories are first one is ram so what is ram full form of ram is random access memory so what it does it stores the currently running processes ram stores the currently running processes that means say you are um, you are listening a music or you are say you want to print a document from your pen drive so what you have to do you have to insert that pen drive into your computer then you have to instruct the computer to print that document so that process is stored in ram clear so it is a read or write memory that is information can be written to as well as read from a ram ram is the internal memory of the cpu for storing data ram is made up of small memory chips that form a memory module it is a volatile memory volatile means temporary memory remember this ram is volatile memory that means it is temporary memory memory that means whenever you your power supply is off whenever power goes off then ram is interrupted that means data stored in data or information stored in ram is erased when power is off hence a backup in uninterrupted uninterruptible power supply or power system that is ups is used with computer so why ups ups is used in computer because currently running programs are stored in ram when whenever power goes off those currently running program is erased that is why you should have an ups so that you can save the currently running or complete the currently running process clear okay then ram can be divided in this is the um, figure of a ram you can see in a desktop computer cpu if you open the cpu you can um, see this kind of chip this is called ram 
So RAM is very expensive. RAM is small, but in terms of physical size and amount of data it can hold. RAM of very of capabilities uh, such as 256 MB, 512 MB, 1 GB, 2 GB, 3 GB and 4 GB now uh, available at affordable prices. <coughs> So RAM is of mainly two types. First one is static RAM, SRAM and second one is DRAM or dynamic RAM. So what is static RAM, SRAM? So the word static indicates that the memory retains its contents as long as the power is being supplied. However, data is lost when the power gets down due to volatile nature. SRAM chips are, SRAM chips use a matrix of six transistors and no capacitor. Transistors do not require power to prevent leakage. So SRAM need not have to refresh on regular basis because of the extra space in the matrix. So SRAM uses more chips than dynamic RAM for the same amount of storage space, thus making the manufacturing cost higher. So SRAM is used as a cache memory and very fast access. So characteristics of SRAM is it has long life, there is no need to refresh, it is faster, it can be used as cache memory and it is large in size, expensive, but it um, also consume high amount of power. So these are the main characteristics of static RAM. The next is dynamic RAM. DRAM is a type of RAM that stores each bit of data on separate capacitor. This is an efficient way to store um, data in memory because it requires less physical space to store the same amount of data than if it was stored statistically. Therefore, a dynamic RAM chip can hold more data than a static RAM. But the capacitors in the DRAM need to constantly be refreshed to keep their sense. So DRAM require more power than SRAM. So what are the characteristics of dynamic RAM? It has short data life, need to be refreshed continuously, so slower as compared to SRAM, lesser in size, less expensive though it is less expensive. Um, it uh, consumes high power but less than uh, static RAM. So, what you have uh, learned? Your computer pro probably uses both static RAM and dynamic RAM at the same time, but it uses them for different reasons because, because of the cost difference between the two types. If you understand how dynamic RAM and static RAM work inside, it is easy, easy to see why the cost difference is there. And you can you can also understand the names. Dynamic RAM is the most common type of memory in use today. Inside a dynamic RAM chip, its memory cell holds one bit of information and is made up of two parts, a transistor and a, and a capacitor. These are, are of course extremely small transistors and capacitors so that millions of them can fit on a single memory chip. On the other hand, static RAM uses a completely different technology. In static RAM, uh, a form of flip-flop holds each bit of a memory. Of a flip-flop or a memory cell takes four or six transistors along with uh, some some wearing, but never has to be refreshed. You have to be refreshed uh, dynamic RAM every time, but static RAM never has to be refreshed. This makes static RAM significantly faster than dynamic RAM. Clear? Okay. So next main memory is ROM. ROM stands for read only memory. Read only memory. Read only means the memory from where the user can only read data but can't write on 
it. This type of memory is non-volatile. Non-volatile means this is you can say this is a permanent memory. That means it does not lose its information whenever power supplies goes off. Actually, actually, uh, ROM stores such informations that are required to start a computer. The information that are required to uh, start a computer are stored in ROM. Remember that. And this operation is also known as bootstrapping. 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 Bootstrapping is the operation through which a computer can be started. So all these informations are stored in ROM. Clear? That ROM stores the information to start a computer. So those kind of information must be permanent because Anytime you can start your computer. So, those informations are stored permanently. So, RAM was volatile, but this ROM is non volatile. That means permanent. RAM is permanent memory. Oh, sorry, ROM is permanent, but RAM is temporary. Clear? Okay. In your uh, PC, in your computer, the instructions are read. From a small program in the ROM called BIOS, Basic Input Output System. So you have to remember what is bootstrapping. You have to remember what is bootstrapping in exam. It comes. What is bootstrapping? So the operation. Uh, so the operation of starting a computer is known as bootstrapping. And it is done through ROM because ROM stores all the instruction or informations required to start a computer. And in your computer, the instructions are read from a small program, small software or small program that is called BIOS, Basic Input Output System. Remember this short term, BIOS, Basic Input Output System. And you can see here. This is the ROM. This the ROM is looks like in your CPU. ROM is looks like the advantage of ROM are it is non volatile in nature. The these cannot be accidentally sensed, and this is cheaper than RAM. RAM are more expensive, but these are cheaper than RAM. Easy to test, more reliable than RAM. These are static and do not require refreshing. It contents are always known and uh, can be verified. Some uh, different types of ROMs are available. These are the following types of ROM. Max ROM. Max ROM is a type of ROM that contains a pre-programmed set of instruction. This kind of uh, ROM is known as Max ROM, which is uh, inexpensive. Max ROM chip contains a software Max that is put onto the chip during the design phase of the semiconductor manufacturing process. Then programmable read-only memory, also known as PROM, is a type of ROM that is programmed after the memory is constructed. PROM is read-only memory that can be modified only once by the user. Then EPROM, irascible programmable read-only memory. So EPROM is an irascible PROM. It can be programmed use, using a programmer, exposing it to high intensity ultraviolet light for 30 minutes can erase the contents of a EPROM, EPROM chip. Then electronically irascible. These are electronically irascible PROM. So EPROM -E -E is programmed and erased. Electrically, it can be erased and reprogrammed about 10,000 times. Both erasing and programming take about 4 to 10 milliseconds. In double EP ROM, any location can be selectively erased and programmed. Double EP ROMs can be erased one byte at a time rather than 
erasing the entire chip. Hence, the process of reprogramming is flexible but very very slow. So, these are all about your primary memory or main memory. So, you may ask one question in your exam. What is the difference between RAM and ROM? What is the difference between RAM and ROM? So, let's see. Already we have discussed these uh, points, discussed these things. That RAM is temporary storage, ROM is permanent storage. Second point is RAM store data in MBs, ROM stores data in gigabytes. Then RAM is volatile, ROM is non-volatile. RAM used in normal operation, ROM is used for startup process of computer. RAM, in case of RAM, writing data is faster. In case of um, ROM, writing data is slower than RAM. So, this is the main difference between a RAM and a ROM. Clear? Okay. So, this was all about uh, your primary memory. Next is secondary memory or secondary storage device. Secondary storage devices have large storage capacity and they are used to store data permanently. So, they can be both internal and external to the computer. This is the storage medium that holds information until it is deleted or overwritten. For example, hard disk, compact disk, USB, the pen scan drive, all these are uh, external devices or secondary storage devices. And these storage devices are also known as secondary memory. So now we will see some examples of secondary storage devices. So some uh, example of secondary storage devices are floppy disks. So earlier floppy disks was widely used or frequently used. Where this floppy disk is very uh, less, very small size. So nowadays this is not used. This is out of service. Uh, main disadvantage of floppy disk is it is um, it can damage easily therefore uh, they are not very reliable next one is optical disk optical disk uh, refers to the disk that are read by the user it uses light energy to store um, information for example optical devices are uh, CD, DVD, digital video disk etc then compact disk Compact disks uh, are circular disks that are 4.75 inch in diameter. So already um, you have seen CD, CD drive, CD disk. So it can store 650 to 700 MB only. And it is very uh, often or widely used and it very reliable storage medium for, for uh, distributing large amount of information. Uh, to the large number of users. Then flash drive, pen drive, it is more widely used, very uh, portable, very small in size. So it is, capacity is very high, and just from 1 GB to 256 GB, so it is popularly used. Then DVD, digital versatile disc. Remember this full form, digital versatile disc or digital video disc. So it is a um, Digital optical uh, disk storage format invented and developed by Philips, Sony, Toshiba, and Panasonic in 1995. The medium can this medium can store any kind of digital data, and it is widely used um, for software and other computer files. And its highest capacity is 4.7 GB, and it is higher than CD. Clear? Then hard disk. Hard disk is also very important. A hard disk or hard drive is a data storage device used for storing or retrieving, retrieving digital information using one or more um, rigid rapidly, rapidly rotating disk coated with magnetic material. The hard drive has four key components, uh, platter for storing data, then a splendle for spinning the platters, and read right arm for reading and writing data, and then Actuator for controlling the actions of read right arm. So, no need to study in detail so what is platter, what is other components. You should only know the, that hard, uh, hard disk is a secondary storage device. It can store up to 1 to, up to many 
GB data or up, it can store, store up to terabytes. Clear? Okay. Then Blu-ray Blu disc. This is a newly invented optical data storage. This is newly invented optical data storage. Host storage capacity can be uh, from 256 GB up to 200 GB. It is mainly uh, used to store highly qual high quality and movie data. They are the scratch resistant disk. That's why storing on uh, data on this kind of disk is very much safer than CD and DVD. Clear? So that's all about your um, computer memory and different types of memory. So that's all for today. Thank you very much.